So to be born again as an individual, the ultimate purpose is to transform nations. How do you transform nations? You influence the government. You influence the government. And what is politics? Politics is all about government. Your job as a Christian is to be involved in politics, to influence the government. God literally says, pray for your, your political leaders. That's a command. Listen to me. If you're saying stay out of politics, do influence politics, do be involved in politics, then how can you obey the command to pray for your political leaders? When you're praying, you're calling down the power of God. Hallelujah. To influence that political leader. That's what you're doing when you're praying. You're inviting the power of Almighty God into the life of that political leader to influence that person to do right. You're being involved in politics. When you pray, you're being directly involved in politics. And it's a command to be involved in politics, to pray for your political leaders, to influence them to make right decisions. You're being involved in politics. For heaven's sakes, the Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. What do you think an ambassador is? It's a political appointment. Yes. Let me read the definition of ambassador for you. So in case you think I'm lying. An ambassador is the highest ranking diplomatic officer designated by the government. Designated by the government as its resident representative in a foreign state or before an international organization. Every born again Christian is an ambassador of Christ. You are involved in politics. It's literally your fundamental purpose as a born again Christian to be involved in politics. You are an ambassador. You represent a foreign country, a foreign government. Glory to God. That is who and what you are. And why this is sad and disheartening is when political, not political, when uh, spiritual leaders make these kinds of statements. The rank and file Christians who don't read the Bible, it's sad, but it's understandable. But when you are pastor and you're in the pulpit and you have influence over many people and you are making these statements, that is very, very disheartening. Please get your head screwed on right. We Christians, uh, we have butterfly spirits, but caterpillar minds. We are transformed in the spirit, born again, but our minds have not yet caught up on what's going on inside here. Butterfly spirits, caterpillar minds. We need to be reformed, people. We need to be transformed. Please, look at your Bible. Look at the Old Testament. When you look at the Old Testament and you see God sending Samuel, the prophet, to King Saul. He's sending Nathan to King David. He's sending Elijah to Ahab. All through the Old Testament, God is using his Old Testament ambassadors, his prophets, to go and to directly influence the political leaders, the kings. Challenging them, rebuking them sometimes. You can't get more hands-on involved in politics than that. That's the testimony and the legacy of our Bible. Read your Old Testament. That's what they were doing. They were influencing the political leaders. They were involved, directly hands-on involved in politics. By the decree of Almighty God. Hallelujah. When God started this whole thing, he gave the, the, the government of the planet to Adam. Let them have dominion. Dominion is the authority and the ability to govern. That's what we had. That's what we lost. Government. When Jesus came as the last Adam, he came to restore what the first Adam lost. Dominion, government, the authority and the ability to rule, to govern. That's why he is the king of kings and lord of lords and the government shall be upon his shoulder. <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> I really hope you do. Right? So please understand that when you make statements like stay out of politics, just preach the gospel, it's an ignorant statement. Stop doing that. God bless you. This is Efrish John Alexander.